Hi guys and welcome to From Rags to Riches. I'm Lauren and today's video is a charity shop haul. I've just had my hair cut so I'm just like playing with it. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to show you first really. Uh, this was down at my local like village right next to the village next to me, should I say. Um, I got a trunky. <laughs> Um, it cost me three pound. I thought it was quite good. Um, resale is about, I'd probably say about twenty and less. So I wouldn't pay no more than probably a fiver. I've never sold one before, but it seems as though it's still like holiday season, and then like there's half term in October, and then there's half term at Christmas. I don't think it's going to be around for very long. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try for twenty pounds. I'll probably yeah, ninety ninety nine. Get rid of it. It's out the door, pretty much. Um, show you these. So I saw these plushes. Is it plushes or plushies? I don't know. Is it plushes or plushies? I can't remember. Um, the goodness gang no idea what it is but I've seen them on other people's YouTubes um, this one one of them was a pound and the rest the other three are like uh, 150 and they seem to be going at all different prices so I'm going to try so as soon as I've got four I think it was £5.50, £4.50, something like that. Um, I'm going to try for 40 99 So, don't spend no more than £2 on them. And I was quite lucky to get a, like a bundle in one shot. That's, that's crazy. I'm trying to hide them from my little boy. He like steals every single toy that I bring in the house. And then when I put it aside, lit like maybe a month later, he's like, oh, my boat, I want my boat. I'm like, you want to play with it. If you play with it, you can keep it. Oh no. So yeah, I'm going to try 40 99 on that one. Um, This jacket uh, cost me £2. It's Jeff Banks Studio. It's a ladies white blazer. So just a white. I don't got a bit of a print on it so oh, it's just started raining again um so yeah it's just a, a white blazer um yeah it cost me two pound i'm gonna try for 20 quid on that i should have really looked it up on sold but if i style it well if i style it well then i can sell it for a bit more i can sell it for 20 quid uh, I saw one, there was only one on sold that was like £20 and the rest were like maybe 14 and and less. And that's not what I want because it's it's white, it's pretty and it's clean. It's clean. I don't have to clean it. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> this cost me £1.50. It says £4.50 but it was on the sale rail outside so... LK Bennett dress with a matching belt. Is that belt broken? I don't know. Oh my god, guys, listen to the rain. I love listening to rain. Like, I will, when I finish filming this, I'll be outside just sitting there in the peace and quiet. You had a nice view of my armpit then. So yeah, LK Bennett dress, it cost me £1.50. Um, she said, oh, it's a pound. And then she went, oh, no, it's a dress at £1.50. I was like, oh, it's only 50 I'm not even moaning at her for that. Because it didn't have the cross down. They originally wanted £4.50, which is not bad for an LK Bennett dress. Because if I'm sniper buying, which I haven't done in a while, if I'm sniper buying, then it's 99p and then like £3, you know postage on it then if i'm at work i'll miss it so four pound fifty for an lk bennett dress from a charity shop is not bad um i'm gonna try 45 pound on it 
if they can get really good lighting in it, it is throwing it down. <laughs> yeah, if I can get really good lighting on it, then I will definitely get £45 for that. Um, Bowden dress. It's just spotted. It's nothing. Oh, it proper looks awful. It's not my cup of tea. If it's your cup of tea, great. Buy it. But honestly, it's not my cup of tea. Um, yeah, it's just polka dot dress thing. Um, I'm going to try for that 9.99 on it. Um, I think it's a size 14, so that is quite a good size, really, for ladies. Um, what? Joe Brown's top. I'm going to try for 20 quid on it. Um, oh, I didn't tell you how much I bought that Bowden dress for. £1.50. I paid for that dress. Um, I, I don't know what I paid for the Joe Brown's one. It might have been £3. It might have been £3. But yeah, I just think that's quite pretty some detail on it um, and I'm going to try for £20 on that this one cost me £4.50 another Bowden one it's a size 14 um, I'm going to try for £24.99 there's one on exactly the same in a size 8 and uh, they're wanting £22.99 and I just thought the average size is for a little woman is like 12 to 14 16 I'm going to have more of a chance selling it, really. So, yeah, it's, it, that is pretty much it. It's just straight up and down. There's not it's all the details on the collar. Um, there doesn't seem to be any beading missing on it. So, yeah, not bad for £4.50. So, yeah, I'll try and get £24.99 for that one. I think that'll be gone by Christmas because it's such like an office party dress. It's safe <laughs> office party dress. Um, oh, I kind of want to keep this. This cost me three pound fifty. It's a Zara jacket, and I think it's a bit tight. It's too tight. Hang on, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call that I had to take. Um, yeah, it's not going to fit me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's quite a nice print. It's like a denim, well, it's not denim actually, it looks like denim, but it's not. It's, it's a nice Zara jacket, £3.50, didn't think that was too bad. Um, trying to see, uh, I'm going to try for £34.99, if I can make that look really pretty on a picture, should get that, should get that. Um, what we got? Jewels. I think this is like the most expensive thing I bought. It was a fiver. So, and it's a size 14. It looks quite big. And it's got pockets. So, yeah. Um, I forgot. 24.99 that I'm going to try for that. And I think what I'm going to do... Oh, I don't think I've got any red heels because that would look cute next to it. If I had like a red belt or something, that would look really good. Hmm, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what we got now? Another Zara. White top, this cost me a pound. This was on the sale rail. Um, so it's just plain at the top and then it's got all this beading. Show you. All this like random beading. So like it's heavy beading at the bottom and it just gets lighter and lighter and lighter. You can see what I mean, yeah. Um so I'm gonna try for $18.99 on that. If I can get a good I've got a good statement necklace that I can because I that is like my size. The thing is though, when I like I'm like trying to model them and model them on myself and accessorize it and whatnot. And then I end up liking it. <laughs> I need a mannequin. Like I really need a mannequin. So bad. 
um, Kath Kidson jumper. Um, how much? I'm gonna try for forty ninety nine on that. It's it's pink. We've just had a load of rain, as you know, because I just love rain, and now it's all cleared up. Uh, that was a pound eight ninety nine that I'm gonna resell it for because it's not that. The I probably like the Kath Kids and Disney stuff. That's probably a gold mine at the minute. Um, I picked this up just to try it. It cost me a pound. It's coral bait beachwear by Boots, and it's one hundred percent cotton. I didn't know it was by Boots until I brought it home. Um, I should get a pound on this. And to be honest, if I've still got it by. 13 months today when I go on my honeymoon I'll just steal it <laughs> so wait 99 for that I don't think it would be I don't think it would be that hard it's, I know it's only August but people six weeks holidays guys people are not organised Um, I don't know why I've bought these I really don't Um, quiz trousers that's the top and it's just long, straight, flared at the bottom a little bit. Um, baby blue trousers quiz. It cost me a pound and there's actually a set to it, like a crop top like type like this. And um, yeah, that went for about 40 99 as a set. But I think what I might do is I might wear them and then just resell them because they are my size um, and I'd resell them at 7 Um with a good quality picture you guys you've got to get the good quality picture if you want that money get a good quality picture you know make it look amazing put something weird next to it I don't know that'd look cute you know if I put this on the floor laid it out Put some heels near it, stuck a little accessory near it, boom, it's old. It's just weird, it's just how your eyes attract it. And it's, if you ever noticed on DVDs, if you, you know, you're in Asda and you go to the DVD aisle and all the DVDs, all, all the action stuff are orangey, yellows and the bit of blue and black. That's because your eyes are so drawn to it. I should have mark it in. <laughs> but no, you've got to make it look amazing. Like, it's a dragon egg. <laughs> it's a Game of Thrones money thing. And my little boy just likes eggs, obsessed with eggs. So yeah, you've just got to draw people in. Make it look, wow, I need that. Definitely need that. My hair is just so bad. <laughs> it's what you get for having your sunglasses as a hairband. <laughs> but yeah, guys, um, I hope you have an amazing day. Um, I want to shout out to um, 49 Irish Flips because he has started this thing on Instagram called Donut Club. Um, basically, Donut Club is where you... Um, if you don't have a sale that day, you are in the donut club. The donut represents a zero. So you don't really want to be in the donut club, let's be honest. But it gets people talking about you cannot just quit your day job and sell on eBay. You have to work hard at it. And it's just realisation that you just can't quit your job and just, you, I'm going to sell this today and I'm going to sell this today and I'm going to sell this today. It just doesn't happen, it really doesn't. I've got 400 listings, over 400. And I don't have a sale every day. It's getting better, let me tell you. Um, so basically, I'll just have a quick show on this because I am low on percentage, like 3%, guys. Let's have a look. So I started reselling in January, but I didn't write everything down. Profit wise, I made £103 in January. February, £133. And um, what we got? 
March, £125. So it's going up. Well, wait. Ran a little bit down <laughs> in March. Um, but all the days that I have not put in. So we've got some missing here, missing, 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 missing. Big missing there. Y you know, you just, I think I had about 100. So if you've got maybe 100 listings, that is what your, your month's going to really look like. You know, and you have to have quality listings as well. April was a bit better. Started picking it up a bit more. Five hundred and fifty-six pounds. Yeah, and May got even better. I think I had how many donut days? One, two, three, four, five. Five donut days. Amazing. That's really good. June, I had six donut days. So not bad. Um. Yeah, and we're near July. Uh, end of the bleh, we're at end of July now, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, one, nine. Because I had a sale today, and today's Tuesday, so we only got tomorrow. So it just depends. I've got four hundred items listed, so it just depends what you've really got on there. Um, so yeah, I hope you had some great sales. Stay out of the donut club. You don't want the donut club. <laughs> and I hope you have a great day. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Why won't it end? <laughs> end. <laughs>